focus is balance that we are firing up. Notice that I don't have shoes on. There's a pillow on the floor, but we will need a chair or another supportive surface just to touch down to. Let's get started by standing on that pillow, setting your feet a hip distance apart. I'd like you to lower your hips down as you raise your arms up, finding your center, and then stand nice and tall, palms face me, shoulders sliding down. Let's do that again. Thumbs rotate up towards the ceiling. And then you stand tall and shoulders slide down. Three more. Thumbs rotate up, arms frame the ears, and stand it up nice and tall. Two more. Thumbs rotate up and stand it up tall. One more time. Thumbs rotate up and stand it up tall. Now your palms are facing me, hands are nice and open, shoulders are sliding down. I'd like you to rise up onto your toes and lower. If you need support, just gently touch down. Once you get the hang of it, you can release. Working on some ankle strengthening. Our ankle strategy is one of our balance strategies, very important. Let's keep this going for five more. And lower, you have four and down. Last three, you're doing great. Final two, you should be feeling this in the calves. One more time, hold your posture really tall, really grow up towards the ceiling and lower. Hold on to the chair and set your feet side by side and touching. Hands are gonna come across your chest. If you're unstable, you can find a point on the floor, but if you feel stable, try to find a point up. You're just gonna hold here with eyes open Focus on that little sway that the body has, taking deep breaths here before we shut those eyes and continue to hold. In five more seconds, four, three, two, and now you're gonna close your eyes, focusing on how you have more sway now. And you're focusing on that control, feeling your ankles work, maybe even your hips kick in, your abs are contracting, if you get dizzy during any of this, please open your eyes. If you need to touch down, do so for support. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, keep breathing, two, and one. Release your arms down, hold on to the chair. We're gonna go into a tandem stance. I'd like you to place your right foot back and your left foot forward. Heel right in front of the toe of the opposite foot. You're gonna hold here, finding your balance. Our base of support is now small. We're also on something unsteady. You're gonna hold here. Keep holding, hands across the chest. Keep holding on to it. Remember, you can find a point on the floor, but if you look up or try to find a point around you, or even look up and down, that makes this much more challenging. Let's continue to hold in this tandem stance for five, four, Three, two, and I just lost my balance. It's tough. Reset your feet. Send your left foot back. Place your opposite foot forward. The other challenge you can get is different plush of pillow, which you're standing. The fluffier it is, the harder it can be. Support, find your stability. Hold, find a point on the floor. Challenge with arms tighter to the body. Continue to hold. Feel the ankles working. Move your gaze for the challenge. Keep holding. You have five, four, three, two, one. Step off your pillow. You're now gonna set it aside. What we're gonna do now is just shake off the feet a little bit. And what I'd like you to do is place your left foot forward and your right foot back. But this time they're separated, so they're staggered. What I'd like you to do is clasp your hands. You're gonna reach forward, but notice I'm keeping my knees straight and I'm gonna pull my hands back in. I reach out, counterbalancing this reach by sending my hips behind me and I pull it in. Again, you wanna reach it out and pull it in. Let's do five more. Reaching forward, pulling center. Four more. Again, finding a point on the floor to look at will make this easier. You've got three, reach and pull. Two more, 
reach it forward and pull it in. And one more, reach it forward and pull it in. I want you to march it out, loosening up those feet and the ankles. We're gonna switch that stance. Now placing your right foot forward and your left foot back again. It's narrow, but it's staggered. Knees are straight, hands are clasped. As you reach it forward and then you pull it in. You can start out with a low range of motion, okay? Keeping it small. And as you feel that stability, you reach further into that limit. Let's keep it going. Reaching forward, pulling it in. Again, reach forward, pull in. You've got five more. Reach it out, pull it center. Four more, reach out and center. Last three, reach and center. Two more, reach, center. Last time you reach and center. Release the arms. Let's just march it out again, loosening out the legs because we're going to go into a single leg stance. So it's all about the weight shift into the stationary leg. Use your support to hold. Let's shift the weight into that right foot, raising the left foot up. You can bring your toe down if you need or foot heel to the opposite shin. But you're going to try to hold here and clasp those hands and then rotate. Rotate. Trying to engage the body to want to lean towards the side where the leg is lifted, but you're not going there because you're holding that balance for five more and four. Keep going. Three. Hang on to it. Two. It's tough. One. Relax. Foot down. Face the chair. Just want you to jog your heels a little bit. Loosen up the calves because you're really going to feel it on that one. Let's do five more and four. You've got three and two. And you're going to face front again. This time, your focus is shifting your weight into the left leg. You can start with a toe down or a heel to the shin. You're going to find that single leg stance, bringing arms out in front. You're going to take that rotation and perturbate that balance over to the right, but you're not going there. You're hanging on to it with me. We're trying our best. If you touch down, that's okay. If you wobble, that is good. That is what we want. That is the challenge. You've got four more. Keep rotating it in. Three more, rotate it in. Last two, rotate. One more, you rotate. Whew, face the chair. Fingertips down. This time we're just gonna do some heel raises, both together, lifting up and lowering down. Up and down. So as we're working through this, you can really feel your ankles and understand how important the strength of the ankle, the flexibility is to our balance. Let's keep this going. You have three more. In two more, we're gonna face front. Last one, we're gonna get a little bit more dynamic in that single, stance, single leg stance, but this time, rather than moving the arms, I'm gonna ask you to move the leg. So you're gonna shift your weight into the right leg, and what I'm gonna ask you to do, you can have a light handhold, is swing the opposite leg out to the side. Let's try to balance for 10, nine, eight, you've got seven, six more, five, four, three, you're doing great, and one. Feet parallel, let's do a few squats, coming down and standing tall again, just to break up that tension that you're building up in the legs for three more, and two before we switch to the opposite side, and one more. Now stand it tall, you're gonna shift that weight over into the left foot, holding your balance here and taking that right leg out and in, out and in. Okay, challenging your balance, all right, as if you're fighting yourself. Win with the balance. Try to stay tall. You've got five more and four, whoo, three, two, one. Excellent job. Face the chair again. Ankle strengthening. You've got heels up and then toes, heels and toes. Let's do a couple more sets here. Five more and back and just focus on your breath. Notice that you're starting to feel all that contraction release a little bit. You've got two and back and one. And now we're gonna get real dynamic with our leg swings as you try to hold balance. 
You're going to shift weight again into the right leg, a light hold for support. You're going to take your left knee forward, swing it back, forward, swing it back. Slowly try to let go. Again, this is the part where finding a point on the floor can be very helpful. Notice as I lifted my gaze to you, I lost my balance. You're just going to focus here, a lot of flexibility, work in your range. Let's hold for five more if you can. Swinging and swinging. You've got three. Good work. And two. Nice job. And one. Excellent. Relax your feet. All right, you're going to do five squats for me. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side, coming down and up and down two more times. Down and up and down and stop. Shift your weight over now into that left leg. Support as you need to. You're going to bring that right leg up, swing it back, up, swing it back, up and back and up and back. So now you're feeling not only your ankle, but also your hips moving around. You're hanging on to it, taking a step if you need to for four more. You've got this. Three, keep working. Two, swing back. And one, swing back. Relax your feet now wide, wider than a hip distance. Hands on the hips. I want you to shift over to the side lifting the opposite heel, and then go over to the opposite side, lifting. Go side and side, relaxing the breath now. You did a great job. Really gonna feel this in the ankles, okay? Noticing the challenge, maybe one side to the other, and really focusing on that when you go back and replay this video. Let's do three more. You've got this. Two more before we take some deep breaths and reach those arms up. One more each side, excellent. You're going to take a deep breath in, arms come up, and exhale, lower down. Let's do that two more times. Take a deep breath in, reaching up, and lowering it down. One more time. Take a nice deep breath in, and lower it down. Excellent job. So remember for your fit tip that a little relaxation goes a long way. The more our bodies tense up, the harder it is to engage those balance reactions appropriately to regain our balance. So focus on that breath, focus on your muscles, let them relax and let them work. Take care, I'll see you next time.